Without a plan, revision might be stressful and lead to poor exam results. In this podcast, I guide students through one part of such a plan, study resources. First, we cover the theory for each topic, and then I suggest questions to practice acquired skills. Join me in making your exam experience a success story. A quick disclaimer. OpenAI's large-scale language generation tool ChatGPT may have been used to draft some content in this episode. StudySquare LTD has adapted the content and takes full responsibility for the publication. Now let's go through some theory about factorizing quadratics. Factorization is the inverse process of expanding brackets. A quadratic expression can be factorized as a product of two brackets of linear expressions. A quadratic of the form x squared plus mx plus n can be factorized to open brackets x plus p close brackets, open brackets x plus q close brackets, where the product of p and q is n and the sum of p and q is m. A quadratic of the form ax squared plus bx plus c can also be factorized. B must be broken down to the sum of two numbers, where the product of those two numbers is equal to the product of A and C. Factorizing common terms out will then give the final simplification of this. When one square number is being subtracted from another, the difference of the two squares can be taken. An expression of the form A squared minus B squared can be expressed as open brackets A minus B close brackets, open brackets, a plus b, close brackets. Okay, so let's have a look at a question from this topic. Kesha has modeled the trajectory of a ball by an expression 4x squared plus 7x plus 3. Factorize this expression. If you're unsure about how to solve this problem, you can visit the page of this topic, which is in the show notes. Do you know anyone who could benefit from listening to this episode? Share it with them. That's how we can support more students in preparing for their exams. Also, if you like listening to this podcast, it would be awesome if you left a five-star rating or a review. Now let's go through some theory about completing the square. When a quadratic expression is not a perfect square, that is, it cannot be separated exactly into fractors, it can be solved by completing the square. The square of an expression of the form ax squared plus bx plus c can be completed by putting it in the form of a, open brackets, open brackets, x plus b over 2a, close brackets, squared, minus, open brackets, b over 2a, close brackets, squared, plus c over a, close brackets. Setting the square term to be equal to zero and solving for x gives the x-coordinate of the turning point of the quadratic equation. So let's see an example of a problem for this theory. Complete the square of the following expression, x squared plus 6x plus 11. There is a link in the show notes of this episode in case you want to double check the answer for this question. Many students revise for exams without a plan. This might result in sporadic learning, poor exam results, and worse career opportunities. However, you can avoid that. Generate your personal exam revision plan on studysquare.co.uk forward slash plan. Okay, so let's have a look at algebraic fractions. Simplifying an algebraic fraction involves reducing it to its simplest form, which makes working with it easier. To simplify an algebraic fraction, we factorize the numerator and denominator and cancel out the common factors between them. These common factors could be numbers, variables, or expressions in brackets that include both numbers and variables. Now let's mention a question that could be asked in this topic. Simplify the algebraic fraction, open brackets, x squared minus 6x plus 8, close brackets, divided by, open brackets, x minus 2, close brackets. If you want to see the answer and the solution for this question, use the link in the show notes of this episode. Now that we have covered the theory, it is time to practice solving related problems. So head to studysquare.co.uk forward slash resources 
and try answering questions on this topic. I hope you have a great week ahead and until next time.